sports. It's in the game.
It's an afternoon probably best suited for skating in Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the New York Jets. The calendar has turned to December and we're in the home stretch now as we're underway in Week 13. McCall Hardman to return it from his end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. Now a late signee let go by Minnesota in June. It's Dalvin Cook. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, this defense for the Falcons, they played extremely well last week in the win over Atlanta. And that's not the half of it. They forced seven turnovers in that game. And I know we always talk about turnovers coming in bunches once you force the first one. But seven? That seems almost impossible, but we watched it happen. In motion right, that's Hardman. They'll get it forward to him on the touch pass. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. The Jets at 9-2 and two to start play. And they've certainly found their groove of late. Winners of five in a row. And this team is absolutely playing their best football right now. This is the best that we've seen them play in a long time, partner. Sky's the limit as far as they're concerned. Their confidence really soaring. Second and six. Here's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. 
You talk about this Falcon defense. They were very good last week in the win over the Saints. They forced seven turnovers. How many? Seven. Seven. I mean, think about seven. that number now. That's supposed to be a lucky number, right? <laughs> lucky for one side, unlucky for the other. On play action, Rodgers. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. And credit that sack to D'Angelo Malone. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Scott Miller deep for Atlanta. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line. And it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Falcons first and ten here as Ritter gets them ready at the 20. Ritter going to change it up. Ready? Now a first carry here for Robinson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. On second down, another shot for Robinson. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here is third and five. Third down, Robinson. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. Back deep for the Jets, McCall Hardman. This is taken at the 15. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Jets will take over. They're on line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Here's second and seven. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. That'll be complete to Alan Lazar. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 and a first down. Now Rodgers. He completes that to Garrett Wilson. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Another good game. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10. Right at the 40. They fake the give. Now Rodgers. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. Picked off by Joey Porter Jr. And the Falcons are going to have it here at their own 15. At their own 15 yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say this is what the problem is. Hell, let's find out who my playmakers are. Get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit. Sometimes it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. The right play. That too. <laughs> so they'll get nothing out of that play. And third and eight now. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats. 
throwing the ball, get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Yards. Okay. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big 30-yard play on third. Here we go. Ritter will set up to throw it. Right back to Pitts again. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another first down as he went right back to the same well, this time for 17 yards. We're scoreless after one. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Ritter now. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So it looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. Second down and a run by Robinson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That burst good for 20 and a first down. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. Ready. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Back to throw, Ritter. And that is incomplete. Now oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. A uh, second down throw from the end zone, but it's incomplete. Over the dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Uh, that's a sharp throw right there on third down. They're looking to get the first points of the game, and they certainly don't want to be on a field goal. So that's a nice job to get the hookup and set up a first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Ritter back to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. As soon as he leaped out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. They're looking at a third and goal here. Robinson is into the end zone. It's a Falcons touchdown. And you can bet when they were in that huddle, there was definitely some urgency because I'm sure they were saying to each other, we got to push this one in right now so we don't have to run this on fourth down and there'll be extra bodies in the hole. That's excellent work there at the point of attack. All it takes is one little crease as he fights his way into the end zone. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Just 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they... He's got a man complete! And all the way in, touchdown, New York! Miko Hardman with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jets are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, they went play action there and set it up nicely for him. I mean, he can flat fly, and they hit him downfield. And it doesn't take much to create that extra bit of space that a guy of his speed needs. If you go play action, all you want is just a moment where the guy's covering, take their attention somewhere else, and then he's by him. And once he's by him, there's no catching him. As they always like to say, if a receiver's even to a defensive back, that means he's leaving. Unless that DB is Charles Davis, right? In that case, he left me a long time ago. Come on now. <laughs> Trust me. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. out there for their next drive. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. 42 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and a yard. Ready? On the counter, this is Robinson. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. On first and ten, it's Robinson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Again, it's Robinson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11, and the Falcons pick up the first. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. Ritter. That one deep for London. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Falcons. Drake London, 53 yards. And the Falcons have taken the lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last time that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. On play action, it's Rodgers. 
And that is going to be incomplete as he let him a bit too much. I think he put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. On play action, now Rodgers. This one finds Wilson downfield. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. And again, it's Rodgers. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earned a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try to mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Now a play fake. Rodgers. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Finding Hardman here over the middle. And he's down into the red zone at the 15 after a game of 15. First and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Getting the ball is Cook running left. He will push his way down to about the 14. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. They work now on second and nine. To throw is Rodgers. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Falcons are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you could describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. They'll run again here with Robinson. And they will get to him behind the line, but the clock continues to tick down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon.
A one touchdown ball game, 14 7. Our scores, we get back at it on EA Sports. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. On second down, another shot for Robinson. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's tackled at the 38, but they doubled their yardage. The play started at the 19, and they gained 19. First down, Atlanta. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw it here, Ritter. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. Robinson on a give right side. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Looking to speed things up here with some tempo. Off the play fake, it's Ritter. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly kept the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Hardman on the return. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Jets offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half is theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Rodgers escaping the pressure right. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 45-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Throwing is Rodgers. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Falcons are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, they tried to take their shot right there, but the ball hung up a little too long, and it's intercepted. And when you describe trying to take their shot right there, usually the ball has to be thrown out a little bit more of a line. You just mentioned it. The ball hung up there. The reaction time of the defenders, they win the day and intercept it. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Okay, Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. 52 blasters. Hut, hut. Ritter with it after the play fake. They'll get this to his tight end, it's Jonu Smith. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Steel. Check steel. 
Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Ritter off the play fake. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 30. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. So in Jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30 yard line. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize the strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. I don't know about you, but I like this call. Third and inches, and instead of worrying about getting it back to a running back and maybe there's some penetration from the defensive front, just go ahead and take it, move forward, and pick up the first down. And as we say often, shows confidence in your offensive line. Robinson up the middle. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw into the hands of Pitts here. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. First and goal at the six-yard line. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. B. John Robinson, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Falcons are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Well, fair to say they've got something here, this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time of the ball game. And, Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on his third quarter. Here's Koo to kick it off. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Add one, tell me once, you know, when we're having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass. And if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you've got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? To throw, it's Rodgers. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. And the Jets, first down. Rodgers to throw once more. 
Steps away to his left. He's got the hook up to Lazard. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch. Inbounds. Keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now. But he was fortunate on that one. Not to have another turnover on his ledger. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Ready, ready. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one, the advanced win metrics? Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down, were they about 95% chance of oh, winning Oh, yeah, it? I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always say it, every coach does. It's just protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball more than they are the person. They want to knock it free. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain there of 21 yards. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score here, that might put this one to bed. I like the fact that they're playing with confidence and not playing with fear. Touchdown, Falcons! Kyle Pitts, 31 yards. And the Falcons are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. Two able to connect on the extra point and the lead down to three touchdowns at 21. Young Way Koo to kick off for Atlanta. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And that five-game win streak is ticking away here in the fourth quarter. Just haven't been as sharp in this one. And he'll have a Jets first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Rodgers now on first down. Open man here is Conklin. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Second and inches at the 46-yard line. Now it's Rodgers. Throwing left side, it's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 26. On play action, Rodgers. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, Cook. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. 
Here's Rodgers. And a throw there going to be incomplete. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now Rodgers, got to have this one. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on down is the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. If you're over on the bench, it's not running that glitch yet. You're hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. And he puts his head down and gets up to the 42 for a gain of about six. And in this situation with a lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Ritter and London team up there. First down, Atlanta. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now it looks like he'll throw here. That's going to be caught by Pitts. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 44 yards. When they've needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Robinson. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys... They've got it going today. This to Pitts, and he's got him. Touchdown, Atlanta. Kyle Pitts with touchdown number two in the game, and now 11 on the year. And the Falcons are closing in on win number 10 as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Now young way Koo for the extra point. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Young Way Koo to kick off for Atlanta. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Hardman going to bring it out of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. At their own 26-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally... I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? 
This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. On first and 10, here's Rodgers. Throwing middle, and it's complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. And again, it's Rodgers. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. One final try for Rodgers. We've seen this before. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. 